All right, we're almost done. This is part five of six from the last day of the Philadelphia Free Skate 2017, held in Philadelphia, of course. Actually, it was held, held in Minneapolis. This is all a big ruse. So we're re-entering or crossing over again the, uh, the Gay Pride Parade here in Philadelphia. And uh, at this point, you can see a lot of rainbow colors on a lot of rainbow people. I will say this much, this is one colorful parade. I have never seen anything more colorful. But again, I'm when I look at this and I see a lot of the people that are having fun, I'm I'm cool with that. And then I see people that look like they're angry or trying to make a statement. And it's kind of like, you know, you. I don't like to see people hijack good ideas and turn them into crap. It's kind of like um, Black Lives Matter. Good idea in theory, and then you got people going in, giving everybody a new agenda. And Or, or, or take, for instance, a Trump rally, you know. Uh, you could vote for Trump and not go to a rally and be a, 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 an alt-writer. But, you know, then they, they kind of hijack the whole thing. And it's on both sides, whether it's on the liberal side of the spectrum or on the conservative side of the spectrum. You get people who push things too far and they ruin it for everybody. And no longer is it about just being positive energy. It's about agenda and being in your face and pushing things so hard that you offend other people or you take away their rights because your rights or your perceived rights matter more than theirs. So I see those things and it makes me, you know not want to lean into events like this. You know, I, I, I experienced something like this with trepidation. You know, it's, it's the world in which we live now, and I just don't, I don't like to jump headfirst into any of these things. So skating through this crowd was fun, but in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, you know, the old guilt by association thing of of the people who are not good. You get lumped in with everything. Hey, this is pretty cool here. Check these guys out. <laughs> Ass is hanging out. That's funny as shit. That's pride. There you go, man. That's pride. My ass is hanging out, and I'm proud of it. So, again, you know, the gay pride parade is, you know, it, it's cool. It's fun but it's not for me. And I figure, you know, if I just skated through this crowd and talked about it in a, you know, politically correct way, it would be kind of boring. So I'm just going to be honest, you know, just this, this is who I am and how I see life. And this could have been about any parade. You know, I would, I would have this subject. It wouldn't, it's not, I'm not picking on the gay pride parade. I'm talking about the subject of people, you know, gathering together and then other people hijacking their cause it's really hard not to um, it's really hard not to say something that offends everybody when you take a position on one side or the other so that's fine yeah I guess I'm taking a position on one side and there's gonna be people who are gonna call me out for what they think I've done wrong to them <laughs> when in fact I don't really care I'm a live and let live type of person you know I, I guess at some point somebody's gonna push somebody too far where they have to stand up and stand their ground and that's cool I dig that it's when you then not only stand your ground but turn it around and push it down somebody else's neck that's when it's gone too far. And I guess that could have, I could have summed it up like that. So let's get back to the positive energy of this skate. Because it wasn't, you know, this isn't a negative, it wasn't a negative experience for me to, to skate through the gay pride parade. It was, you know, it was fun. I just, you know, I just have some reserved emotions about the thing that make me want to be careful about it. All right, so we're almost through the city. We've almost wound up this entire skate. I think we've uh, we've reached Broad Street here. Yeah, this is Broad Street. 
Meanwhile, the gay pride parade is just to our left, and it's cruising down, I think, Walnut. I can't even remember now. Just It's all a big blur. So we're going to head down towards Rittenhouse and then kind of veer off towards the hotel for the skaters. But uh, many of us are going to skate down towards the uh, art museum to finish this thing off. I'm parked near the art museum. I'm actually going to have... I'm actually going to take you all the way to the end and show you me skating up to my car. Pretty exciting, huh? Of course, this is a skate video, so why don't I talk a little bit more about the streets we're skating on because we are skating. And that is, this street sucked. <laughs> it was warped. It was almost as bad as South Street. In fact, it probably was worse because at least South Street didn't have holes in it. This, this, uh, this part of the experience was just a pain because there was holes, there was warped streets, it was just, it was a tough run if you're not going quickly. Again, when you're skating, speed is your, is your friend and going slow is your enemy. It doesn't matter if you're on big wheels or smaller wheels, but the bigger the wheels you have, the more going slow is a liability to you. So while it's good to be going at a higher rate of speed to get across something like this where you just roll across it, if you're having to push off and push through it, it's a pest. It's it's one of those things where you want to kind of compress your body a little bit, get a little lower, get your center of gravity set, and make certain that you're in a position of stability at all times. And again, stability comes with speed. Remember that. If you're if you're on skates and you're skating through city streets, stability is your friend. I'm sorry, speed is your friend for stability. Sounds kind of counter, but you'll come to learn that. By the way, I'm looking in this uh, restaurant at the people. <laughs> I was trying to check it out. I wasn't putting my nose up on the glass. I wasn't being obnoxious. There's Christoph. He's checking for the sweep to see who's with us. And we are winding up another segment. Oh, my gosh, one left. If you have actually watched all of these, you get a cookie. Go... Go get yourself a glass of milk and a cookie because you have earned it. This is a lot of videos I've put up to cover the entire Philadelphia Free Skating 360, but I've put these up for more than just people who skate. There is really this whole concept here is kind of a, a moving tour of Philly from the ground level. And I wish I knew more about most of the buildings around Philly, but I don't. But having said that, there's the Rouse building, pointing way up at it. First building to overtake Billy Penn, I believe. That was like there was this unspoken rule for years. No building could be taller than William Penn's uh, on uh, City Hall. All right, I think we're going to wind this up. Let's get on to the very last segment. And at that point, you'll see me skate up to my car and you'll know it's all over. Peace. It's too much for any man! 